On the bench today, we have a brand new Ventera 2 60s Telecaster in Fiesta Red. The Ventera 2 60s Telecaster features an alder body and a maple neck with rosewood finger bar. The C-shaped neck is a 60s profile with a 7.25 radius neck and vintage 12 frets. The guitar comes with Fender vintage style 60s pickups, a vintage style 3 saddle bridge with slotted steel saddles, Fender vintage style tuning machines, and comes with a padded gig bag. When I compared this guitar to the Fender American 2 version, the guitar pretty much has the same exact specs for about half the price. The only three specification differences I could find between the American Vintage 2 and the Ventura 2 models of guitars are the following. The American Vintage 2 has a nitrocellulose finish on both and it's gloss on both the body and the neck. The uh, Ventura 2 has a poly finish on both the body and the neck. The American Vintage 2 comes with a bone nut and the Ventura 2 guitar comes with a synthetic nut. The American Vintage 2 comes with a really nice Fender case and the Ventura 2 comes with one of their high-end padded gig bags. The American Vintage 2 63 suggested retail is $21.99. The Ventura a 2 60s Telecaster suggested retail is $1149. You can get them a lot cheaper than that. I pick mine up on sale for $850. I've seen them use in the low 700s. They hold their value in resale. So that's a really good sign. My guitar, the neck was straight and did not need to be adjusted. The frets did not rock anywhere in the fretboard. The fret quality was just excellent. What really surprised me was when I opened up the control panel, I found CTS pots and a high-end Fender three-way switch. The weight of this guitar is seven pounds, six ounces. I used to buy only American-made Fender guitars. I have actually owned the American Vintage 2 63 Telecaster, so I have basically something that I can compare to. This is a guitar that blindfolded, I really would not be able to tell the difference between it and the American Vintage 2 model. Hell, not blindfolded. I'd have a difficult time telling the difference until I actually look at the back of the headstock and see made in Mexico. So the question for you is, is it worth almost double the price for these differences? If you're willing to pay that much for a bow nut, of which you could put a bow nut on this guitar, and it's really absolutely necessary for you to have the nitro finish, I totally get that. But is it really worth a thousand dollars? This guitar, hands down, is one of the nicest Fender guitars I have played in a very long time and I will be keeping. I suggest that you pick one up and play it before slapping down $2,000 for an American-made version of this guitar. I guarantee you'll be surprised and not disappointed. Later on, I'm going to be doing a video called What Would I Take With Me on a Desert Island? And I put down the parameters of two guitars. And to be honest with you, this is now one of my two guitars. Mm.